Domestic violence, double standards. Yes, when men are domestically violent, they're severely punished. But when women do the exact same thing, they are cheered. Let's look at what Monday Night Football announcers said about Ray Rice and the incident where he hit his wife after being hit by her. See the Ray Rice uh, story. Very disturbing to see that video earlier today. That is disturbing. There's no place for it in football or society. Baltimore Ravens terminated Rice's contract today and released him, and Rice was subsequently suspended indefinitely by the NFL after new video surfaced this morning showing him punch his then fiance and now wife Janae Palmer in the face in that casino elevator in February. Minutes later on Monday Night Football, here's what we see. <laughs> That's a princess cut, she brags, to the delight of others, and at least one man cheering her on after she hit a man in the face with her fist. No one protests. She is not vilified or thrown out of her profession. She's cheered. Imagine if she was a man hitting a woman, and you can see the double standard pretty clearly. Carmen Electra was arrested for domestic violence, but it didn't kick her out of her profession. Last I heard, she was still making thrilling movies like her latest two-headed shark attack. In another elevator incident, Solange attacked Jay-Z, hitting and kicking. Was she blacklisted from her profession for her domestic violence? No. The biggest and most popular question was what did he do to get her so upset? Just imagine people focusing on what Ray Rice's wife did to get him so upset, and it's easy to see the double standard. And how about the case of Hope Solo, professional woman soccer player? She went on a violent rampage, battering her own sister and the sister's 17-year-old son. She was arrested and jailed for domestic violence. Here's a part of the news broadcast. American soccer star Hope Solo, who is behind bars tonight, due in court tomorrow. She helped Team USA earn two Olympic gold medals, but this weekend is making headlines for something else. Opportunity here, what a save by Hope Solo. Star goalkeeper Hope Solo off the soccer field and behind bars this evening, accused of assaulting her sister and 17-year-old nephew at a party. How did the Soccer Federation respond to this? They ignored it and decided on a wait-and-see policy. She's still playing and has even been made team captain. A spokesperson for U.S. Soccer said, but, 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 she has an opportunity to set a significant record that speaks to her hard work and dedication over the years. Um, yeah. Even Kim Gandy, a past president of NOW, has come out saying that she should be sidelined. Double standard yet again. Then there's Kelly Brook. Check out this interview where she admits to relationship violence and seems to think it's funny. As I headed back to the table, I saw Danny walking towards me. This is in Las Vegas. Babe, he said, I've been looking for you. I punched him straight in the face. <laughs> yeah. Deny I... that. It's true, I did both of those things. And this is, and this is, you know, I'm not saying I'm an angel. Sure. And I'm not saying that things I've done are right. I'm not saying that's the right thing to do at all. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess I get some of that fiery passion from, from my parents. From yes, I guess so. Not that I'm gonna make a habit of doing that in the future. I'm just gonna pick more wisely in the kind of when? men I be with. <laughs> Not that I'm gonna make a habit of doing that in the future. I'm just gonna pick more wisely in the kind of when? men I be with. <laughs> So she hit him in the face unprovoked and laughed about it, saying she must have gotten her passion from her parents. Then incredulously blames the victim by saying that she just needed to choose different men next time. Of course it's not her fault. She chose the wrong guys. That's why she hit them. It's their fault. All the while, everyone in the interview, including her, are laughing about this. Now tell me, what would happen if Ray Rice had said that he'd gotten his fiery passion from his parents and he would choose more carefully who he'd be with the next time? See the double standard? It's common now for men to be villainized for hitting women, but there's no reciprocal response for violent women. Nope, they're cheered, ignored, or they bring chuckles. This double standard is so massive that it simply can't be missed. We need to remedy this immediately. Either we hold the women accountable for their violence in the same way we do for men, or we should ease up on the men as we do for the women. 
Anything else would be hypocritical. Let's not forget, men are good.